Mataji. Tip number six. The last one of the verses that Bhante Thimala Ramsey asks us to do in retreat goes like this. Though a person recites the sacred text but doesn't act accordingly, that heedless person is like a cow herd who is counting others' cows. They have no share in the fruits of the holy life. Though a person recites the sacred text very little, but acts in accordance with the teaching, they give up lust, hatred, and delusion. They truly know what is good, and this leads to a mind that is free from suffering. They cling to nothing here and in the future. In this way, one shares the fruits of the holy life. <clears throat> in the Paranibbana Sutta, the Buddha told Ananda that those monks who go out and practice what he was teaching and treat other people with kindness, with compassion, with forgiveness, those people are living the teaching that he was giving us. The gift that he taught us was very clear in the suttas. If we will but follow and take action from what we are learning step by step. This was a teaching that has to be used and use it with a smile. Your smile can uplift someone who is not well or not having joy right now. If there is great sadness or if there is great pain, your smile can uplift the mind of that person. One need not say much, but the smile's energy can lift up their spirits. This is what we're here for. We are here in this life to help each other get through. We are here to learn and share and give to one another to open the path towards a lighter mind, happiness, and peace. So, spending all the time reading the text but not living the teaching was not the idea that the Buddha had in mind when he shared this with the lay people of the world. Blessings all. Keep your smiles going. Keep your practice going. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.